Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what I've been loving um, for the month of November. And I think in every video I have probably said that this month has went by so fast, but it's probably been one of the funnest months that i had so far. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving and um, did all your Black Friday shopping. If you guys did that shopping, I know I did and I know I got everything that I wanted to get. So I'm very lucky and I know that Black Friday is probably one of the most hectic days and it's pretty crazy but luckily I got what I wanted well what I needed to get um, mostly for Christmas shopping and things like that so yeah so I'm just gonna go jump into it I don't have that many things this month because not a lot of things have changed um, so yeah let's just jump into it so the first thing that I want to talk about is the uh, Too Faced A Few Of My Favorite Things palette. I am in love with this palette. Ever since I got this palette, I have been using this non-stop. The colors in this is just amazing. And um, just looks like this inside if you haven't seen it. There are so many neutral colors, pinks, different uh, colors. Like there's this um, green here, this forest green. And like this blue up down here and purples pinks. There are so many different colors so you can do so many different looks with this one palette. What I love most about this palette is that it has um, matte shades um, for your crease which I really like because I do use um, more matte shades in my crease than more shimmery ones. So there are like three matte browns in here that I am in love with. I use this every single time I'm going to do a look. It's just simply amazing. Um, and also on the bottom, it has blushes and bronzers, um, which I'm going to get into the bronzer right now because that's my next favorite. And it is the Chocolate Soleil um, bronzer. I had a small sample, but I never really tried it until I got this palette because it kind of came in the palette. Um, and I started using it, and I have used it non-stop. I am in love with this bronzer. The smell of this bronzer is also amazing. Um, it's just really nice chocolate smell. Um, I don't think it smells as much as when I first got this palette, but maybe it's just because it's open. Um, but I love the palette. I love the bronzer that's in here, and the palette itself, like the um, packaging, is really, really cute. I really, really like this palette, and I'm really glad that I picked it up. Um, and it also came with, uh, like, a mascara and a bag and things like that. But I've been using the just the palette itself, and I'm in love with this thing. So for the basis of my eyeshadows, I've been using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded. You've probably seen this, um, like, a million times here on YouTube, and it's just, like, the champagne kind of color. And people are sending me messages in the middle of a video. But um, I've just been using this on the base for bases for my eyeshadow um, because it makes the like the colors more vibrant. I've been using it with like greens, blues, pinks, and things like that just to make the colors pop a tad bit more because I feel like if I just use a flesh tone, it doesn't look as vibrant. I'm not sure if that makes sense. But I've just been using this um, because I've using been using um, a little bit more color than other months. So which is kind of weird for me, but oh well. For concealers, I've been um, using the Insta Age Rewind er uh, Eraser Dark Circles, and it just looks like this. You Also, you've been seeing this like a million times here on YouTube, but I kind of got pulled into trying this out because a lot of people have been using it for their under eyes um, and to kind of highlight, and I've been using this lately, and well for like this month and I really really like how it like takes my dark circles away and it makes it highlight at the same time so I've been really enjoying this this month um, I don't find that it really creases whenever I do use powder if I don't use powder it will crease on me but it doesn't really have um, like crease when I have powder on so I've been really enjoying this and it's like a perfect color for me as well so um, it's just a really nice uh, concealer and brightener and I'm so happy that I got pulled into the bandwagon. <laughs> so I've been using this um, Tarte uh, Pure Maracuja Oil. And I just got this little sample size um, in a, like a, uh, what is this? A, like a value kit. Um, and I've been using this with my moisturizer, just mixing and mixing it together. And it has helped my skin tremendously, especially around my nose. Usually around my nose, I get really, really dry during this time of uh 
time of the year um, because of the weather change and it has really helped with my nose it's not dry and it's not peeling or anything so this has really helped uh, the moisture in my skin and it's just done a miracle for me um, I've been using it like I said with my moisturizer just mixing like two or three dots like dots um what would this be a uh, little drops there we go not dots um, and I've just been really really enjoying this I've use it a lot and it doesn't even you don't even need a lot so it this will last me quite a while for contouring I have been using the Sedona lace um, FB05 and it just looks like this and I find this to be the perfect shape just to kind of get into my little hollows of my cheeks right here and this just gives me a nice precise lines and at the same time you can kind of buff it out also I use it whenever I want to contour my nose um, it's just like a perfect s small shape to like kind of go in here and contour. It's just a really nice brush. I really have been enjoying this little baby this month and I've really enjoyed how it looks whenever it's like a finished, whenever I'm finished contouring and um, bronzing up my face. So I've been really enjoying this. I really do recommend this brush. Um, even if it's just you get one brush from Sedona Lace, I recommend this one. Um, it's just a really nice one and it, ha it hasn't really shed on me. Like it doesn't, hasn't shed at all for me. Um, so this one has been a really nice brush from Sedona Lace that I have tried. This month I've been using the Benefit Professional for my primer and let me say that I love this thing to death. I've kind of been in a love-hate relationship and this month it's been a love relationship with it. Um, it does what it, you know, it fills in my pores so you can't really see my pores when I use my foundation and it just gives me a, like a nice um, canvas type to for my foundation to go on to my face. It just kind of just glides on and it doesn't look... Um, like the pores like going into the pores or anything um it has not broke me out so this that's a very very good plus because i've heard that some people it breaks them out i'm not too sure if that's like you know it's just depending on their skin i guess but for me it hasn't broke me out so i've been really enjoying this this month and it's just amazing for me this month it has treated me right <laughs> so i finished the uh equate make oil free makeup remover that i was talked about in my last favorites I use it up and I have been watching a lot of Nicole Guerrero and I, she kind of sort of convinced me to um, go try out the Maybelline uh, Clean Express Makeup Remover and um, to go with it I kind of just bought the wipes as well and let me say that I am in love with these. I love these more than the Equate ones which I will thought that that would not happen um but I really really love these um they do the job really nicely I don't have to tug at all like less than my equate one so I was so happy when I found like, when I got these two because I didn't have to like scrub off anything or I didn't have to do anything really you know kind of do like a wiping motion just a little bit like this and everything would just come off so I was really really happy about these two, um, this I use for all over like my face makeup and this one just for my eye makeup and I did get the waterproof one so um, for, for waterproof mascara or anything like that this will take everything off. I do not have to do a lot of work to get everything off so this is just great. It does not irritate my skin, doesn't irritate my eyes. I am in love with these two products and I am so thankful for Nicole Guerrero convincing me to buy these because these are amazing. <laughs> so that is it for my November favorites. I didn't have that many this month because a lot of things have stayed the same. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for subscribing to me and um, please like this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. I also do have a tutorial with the... Um, a few of my favorite things palette um which i will link down below if you guys want to watch that it's a pink and brown um eye tutorial so i will link that down below if you guys want to watch that and thank you so much for watching and love you guys see you guys in my next video bye